I think I love him. Can you tell I've been doing this all day? Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be doing a 24 hour reading video because I haven't done one in like a year or two because I don't know, I just haven't thought about it really. <laughs> There's no reason. So we will be reading for 24 hours. I literally have nothing to do today. So this sounded like the best thing for me to be able to do. It's like the 12th, I think. Um, I have read one book. I have 11 to read, 11. So my goal for this video is to be able to get through a good amount of my TBR because why did I think 11 books was something I could do? So the first one I was thinking about starting with was Her Soul to Take because I'm so, 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 so excited to read this. And then the other book that I want to start with is one of my other books that I'm really, really, really excited to read. Love Redesigned because I love Lauren Asher. I literally have read the Dreamland Billionaire series and give every single book five stars. And everyone says this is their favorite. So I'm super excited to read this one because I feel like it will be high up there with me. With me? I feel like it will be high up there for me. I'm excited. Woohoo! Okay, listen, I have a plan of attack. Basically, I think Love Redesigned is going to be my audiobook, okay? Stay with me. And then I'm going to read Check and Mate by Allie Hazelwood because I want to start off with like a fluffy book. And I don't know what I was thinking going into like two of my top releases first because I might need a pick-me-up throughout the day. And I feel like those two books can be my pick-me-up, you know, like when you get like a little tired and you've been reading for hours. You might not know because I feel like a lot of people don't do this challenge. I really hope this isn't like too chest heavy. Like I know it will have chest in it, I'm aware, but like I know nothing about chess um but i'm excited because it's super cute i'm obsessed with the cover such a cute idea to put all these chess pieces here and it's like foiled are you kidding me i'm gonna start this at exactly eight o'clock <gasps> and it has started it has started oh this is a big commitment let's get into it because i need to say every time I read an Allie Hazelwood book I remember how long her chapters are like I feel like they're pretty long so I'm always like this is a very long chapter but it's just because I'm used to reading books with shorter chapters I guess so I just hit part two it's going to start on page 59 and let's see how much time is the timer Well, it's 8.54, which means I've been reading for 54 minutes. Why does my timer say 36? I started the timer at 8 o'clock. It's been 54 minutes. I'm super annoyed, but at 9 o'clock, I'm going to start this 23-hour timer. And we're just going to go with this because my stopwatch just decided to stop working. So, anyway, I'm really liking this so far. I'm not going to give anything away. This is going to be a spoiler free video, but I like that she also has a subplot of like helping her family kind of thing. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I really like that. But anyway, I'm going to be starting chapter six in just a second. And I think I'm just going to like keep the timer going. I'm not going to stop it. It's going to be like 24 hour reading for 24 hours. So we're not going to stop the timer like I did last time. Last time I did this video, I did the type of video that you just stop the timer whenever you stop reading. But I'm just going to do 24 hours straight. And the timer has started, even though we already set a stopwatch at some point anyway. So now we have the timer going and let's continue with this book. So I have just reached chapter 12. This is how much I have left. I really am enjoying- this lighting's not great. I'm really enjoying this book. I really 
I don't know what's going on with this guy, but I know he's gonna be like the love interest, obviously, or he is the love interest, but also kind of creepy that he found her house. But anyway, that's beside the point. I don't know how long I've been reading. We have 21 hours and 32 minutes left. I'm about to start chapter 12 and I don't plan on stopping for a little while, but I will have to go make lunch and then we will start an audiobook. But for right now, this is where I am. Okay, so I just got Izzo's because I'm lazy and do not want to cook. I got a burrito and chips and queso. And I will be starting Love Redesigned on audiobook so that I'm able to keep, you know, this challenge going. But now I only have 20 hours and 13 minutes left. And I'm almost done checking mate. Like I'm really, really close to being done. But I hate holding a book and eating like there's something that i just don't like about it so i'm gonna sit here start the audiobook for love redesigned and eat my lunch hello i have eaten i have started love redesigned i am 12 percent through this book and i mean i just look lauren asher i love your writing i love your books literally I don't know what it is, but she just gets me. Like, she just puts everything in a book that I want. I don't know how she does it, but amazing. Anyway, I'm gonna sit here and read the rest of Check and Mate. I am on page 223, and this is how much I have left. So I'm just gonna sit here and binge the rest of this, and we'll catch up in a minute. We currently have 18 minutes and 21 seconds. Nope. We currently have 18 hours and 21 minutes left of this challenge. And I just finished checking mate about like five minutes ago. And I really liked it. I will say that it's good. But for some reason, I find YA sometimes like really young. But overall, it was good. It wasn't like a bad experience. I had a good time. I'm not gonna give my full review on this book because I'm gonna do a reading wrap up at the end of the month, which I haven't done in forever. But I will tell you that I'm gonna give this book like three stars, which means it's good, but it's not one of my like top books. In saying all that, I need to like stand up because I've been sitting for a very long time. So I'm gonna continue to listen to Love Redesigned and literally just organize my bookshelves I'm not going to show you because that's not the point of this video, but I'm trying to see what I want to do with my shelves for when I'm done everything and I can show you, but that'll be later. So I'm just going to rearrange my bookshelves while I listen to Love Redesigned, which I am having a great time. Okay, so I have been like rearranging my bookshelves trying to figure out what I want to do with them, but I'm on chapter 21 of Love Redesigned and I'm having a great time. They talks about, they mentioned Declan Kane in this book, if you've never read Terms and Conditions. And then they mentioned the, they mentioned Dreamland too, which was cool because that is from the other series. So that's interesting. I really like that. I am 42% through the book. So I'm going to take a pause from listening to the book. I'm going to start a book. I don't even think I told y'all about this book. I don't know why I feel the need to read it right now. Hold on. I feel the need to read this book. Let me explain. This book has caught my attention every time I go to Barnes. I don't know why. It's literally just got to be the cover. I don't even remember really what it was about. So I'm going to start reading this book. It has pretty big font. Like the font's pretty big. So that's pretty nice. But this will be third book that I start in this video. I will show you how much time we have left. We have 16 hours and 43 minutes left and we will be starting summer reading. I've read chapter one and I'm on chapter two. 
but this book does something weird and i mean i don't really understand why it randomly like bolts the words I don't, I don't know why, but okay, sure. Um, and saying all that, I made coffee before I started this book. So we, <laughs> we need to go get coffee. I made coffee because I'm feeling like I need a pick me up. Um, it's 3.35 and I've only read today, which I mean, I'm relaxed as heck right now. I am big chilling. This is all I could ever want. You look very angelic with this lighting. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I'm gonna make coffee. I'll see you in a second. I make coffee and my snack. Going back into my cave. Literally, if I would have read the notes in the beginning from the author, I would have known why some things are highlighted or bolded. I would have known why they're talking about dyslexia so much. I would have known. That makes a lot more sense now. This is apparently this Lexia friendly font. Um, overall, this book, honestly, I'm kind of bored and I think that's why it's kind of taking me a minute. And we have 15 hours and 43 minutes left. Like we have a lot of this challenge still left. Go bored. And we have read one book, one and a half, because we're basically halfway through Love Redesigned. So I took a shower. Don't mind my face, I have a skin condition. It's my personality trait. Um, but that's why it's so red right now because I took a shower and I was listening to Love Redesigned in the shower. Um, there was a one bedroom trope. I love that. But I did order food again. You could judge me. That's fine. Um, it's my money, so, you know, judge if you want. But I got a rock and roll. And I also got a snow crab salad because I didn't want to cook and Josh's not here because he went to eat and I just wanted that so that's what I did. I'm gonna listen to Love Redesign while I eat my dinner and hopefully I'll finish a book soon. I feel like I haven't finished a book in a hot minute. It's been a couple hours I've been between books and it's 5 30 and I started this challenge at 8. Okay so I've been like on and off like I was listening the first half of this book and reading the last half of this book. So it is now, it has now, wait, no. <laughs> Can you tell I've been doing this all day? Now I have 11 hours and 57 minutes left and I finished Love Redesign. I put this one down, at, it's just not for me right now, but this, this is for me. This, I love Lauren Asher. I love literally anything this woman writes, I will auto buy. I love her books. I never ever have done like 4.25 stars or 4.5, but I think I'm going to start doing it because I like hate the thought of point ratings because on Goodreads, you can't do that. And saying all of this, this didn't give me my five star feeling. However, it is a really, really good book. So I'm going to give it 4.75 stars, okay? Okay, I don't do point ratings. I don't know who I am. Am I changing? Am I evolving? I probably should because my theory is if I have a good time in a book, I'm gonna give it five stars. But this didn't give me the five star feelings that the whole billionaire series, Dreamland Billionaire series gave me. So I can't give it five stars, you know? But yeah, I was so, it like, I'm so happy with this book. <sighs> Saying all that, I feel like I need an easy read because I just chose a 500 page book and we're at 12 hours, basically. I'm going to pick up if he had been with me. And yes, I could be sad. No, I think I'm just going to do it. I'm going to read If He Had Been With Me because I just feel like I need a different kind of book. I've read a YA. I just read a not YA. Lauren Asher just knows how to write. But I've never read a book by this author, so we'll be starting If He Had Been With Me. How many times am I going to say that? And, and, 
And we have an 11 hours and 52 minutes left. Oh my gosh. That kind of stresses me out. But yeah, I know I brushed over it, but like I'll finish this book at some point this month. So now we finished two books and it's been 12 hours. How do people read like six books? I like can't fathom that people do that actually. That's insane. Anyway, this book is 390 pages, so here we go. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do this thing. I'm sorry. I was like trying to do like B-roll. The dedication for my husband, Robert, without you, I wouldn't have known how to write about true love. Are you freaking kidding me? Excuse me while I go cry. Like, <laughs> not expecting the book to start out like that okay they literally just hit us like that sure sure i mean whatever you have to do to hook me that's fine i'll be here i'll be your your reader i i don't know so i'm on page 92 we have 10 hours and 41 minutes left of this challenge and i'm really enjoying this book i will say it feels a little young but it's reminding me of high school, like finding your friend group and going through all the high school things like your first love and all the things that go along with that, like super fun. I'm having fun with this challenge. However, I am getting pretty tired and that is not hopeful because I have over 10 hours left of this challenge. 10 hours. Okay guys, I cannot go on any longer. Like these bags are more prominent than they usually are i literally i can't do this anymore <laughs> i did i have to i stopped the timer like five minutes ago i i just i'm gonna go to sleep and we can finish this tomorrow but i made it 49 percent through this book how annoying that's not 50 and i'm on chapter 36 page 185 i have nine hours 19 minutes and 19 seconds left. I did do it to where it would be 19 seconds and 19 minutes. I will see you in the morning. Good morning. I feel like a totally new person. I feel alive. It is 7.20 in the morning, okay? Okay, we're starting the rest of this nine hours and 19 minutes in just a second. Yesterday was super fun, but I will say, good lord, reading for 14 whatever hours but we're gonna get back into it i hope i'm just gonna sit here and binge the rest of this because it's not hard to read i think it was just taking me a minute because i'm telling you when you do this for that long you need a break you need a break like the audiobook break that i did for like an hour or two whatever i don't know because I, i've read half of it and listened to half of it the audiobook break wasn't long enough. Anyway, let's restart this timer. And we're back at it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? Chapter 85? It starts off like... What do you mean? What do you mean? Is that what the beginning was? I am so mad. After all of that. After everything that happened. You're gonna do me like this? Chapter... 87? And also the end? Why am I gonna cry? Frick, man! <laughs> Why? I have two pages <laughs> I have two pages left. What do you mean? I am speechless. We finally get <laughs> everything we wanted. <laughs> and, then, and then you want to rip. 
ripped my heart out and then tried to piece it together, but it's still out. <laughs> Why? <laughs> this book talks about a lot, like depression, what you go through when you're growing up. It talks about your first love. It talks about, you know, your first, a lot of firsts. I don't want to give anything away. But I highly recommend you read this book. But just know, this could happen to you. <laughs> you could be a mess and still have 7 hours and 11 minutes left of your challenge. <laughs> you know, just girly things. <laughs> just girly things crying over a book. But 5 stars. Well, now I have to read another book. Are you actually serious? Are you a I have to read another book. Normally when I read five star books that leave me speechless, I can't pick up another book. I feel like I need a book that doesn't take much energy to read because I'm a mess. So I think I'm going to try to get back into this book. If I don't, I'm just going to pick another book because why not? I'm on chapter six of this book, page 74. So I'm just going to sit in this chair, stop sitting on the floor. And try to not be a mess and continue reading because, wow. So, I stopped the timer a little bit ago because Zach had just got home and he was leaving to go golfing today because tax season's over. Almost. So, he wanted to go golfing. So, I hung out with him for a little bit. I read one more chapter of this book. Guys, this book is taking me entirely too long to be able to read in this video because I would like to get more books done. But this book is not doing it for me. So we're on chapter 7 of this book. Page 93. Okay, it took me forever to get to that point. Because I cannot right now. Cannot. I have 6 hours and 37 minutes left of this challenge. And I need to switch it up. I need to switch it up. I cannot keep reading that book right now. Not right now. No. Absolutely not. So because I can't keep reading that book. We're going to switch to Love Theoretically by Allie Hazelwood. As you know, I love Allie Hazelwood. I read Check and Mate in this video, and even though Check and Mate wasn't like my top tier book, it was still a good book because her writing is so good. So, this is a lot of people's top tier Allie Hazelwood book besides um, love, The Love Hypothesis. So I figured I'm gonna pick this up, and I just feel like this will be an easier book for me to get through in a good amount of time so that we can have another book finished in this video because we only have three finished. Which, I only finished three last time I did this challenge. And, yeah. I mean, I know I listened to half of one of the books, but it doesn't matter. It still counts. Come at me. Don't care. I'm sorry, but <laughs> Allie Hazelwood literally wrote, Easy peasy, photon squeezy. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this book has fake dating in it love fake dating love fake dating even though i don't think she's gonna end up with a guy she's fake dating whatever but i love a fake dating trope in a book okay so i am literally having like the best time reading this book i i just have so much fun with this woman's writing it like how does writing make me genuinely happy how do books and sitting in this library that I'm making make me so happy. I don't know. I'm on chapter 8. And let me tell you something about this book. It's so minor. But she has mentioned Twilight multiple times. Okay. I would say my guilty pleasure is Twilight. No, I don't watch it on TV. But like I used to go to the midnight premieres. Okay. Like I was a Twilight stan and every time I see it on TikTok, y'all know how you can watch movies on TikTok? Because they have like those accounts that just have the whole freaking movie basically on it. I have multiple times been watching Twilight on TikTok. But anyway, how much time do I have left? Am I going to be able to finish this before the timer runs out? I don't know. Let's see. We have four hours and 29 minutes left. But I'm literally still gonna binge the rest of this hopefully finish it i think i can i think i can this challenge i'm so happy i stopped last night i know i was supposed to do 24 hours straight look i tried i tried 
But I am not a night owl and I'm happy I stopped because I think I wouldn't have liked if he had been with me as much as I did. And I also don't think I would have liked the next book, which ended up being this one. I don't think I would have liked them as much because I would have been exhausted. And when you're exhausted, you tend not to like things as much. So I am very happy that I ended up going to sleep because your girl needed to go to sleep. Chapter 11, chapter 11, 11. The words that were just spoken for like three pages. It was really like two, but wow. I think I love him. I, I always like the male main characters in these books. Like Adam from the first book, love him. Jack. So it's now 2.30. I pause the timer one last time so that I could eat because I hadn't eaten. So I finally ate because I get lost in things and forget that I need to eat. So I did that. I'm going to crank out the last of this book now. We have three hours and 25 minutes and we're on page 181. So we'll see. Guys, I did it. I finished the fourth book of this challenge it has been a journey to get here i literally am saying this like i'm done the challenge and i haven't looked at the timer and i know i probably have a little bit of time left because it didn't go off i thought this book was so fun and i really like the couple i also really like the twilight references as i said earlier i thought they were super cute i thought she was really fun and I'll give more detail in my wrap up video, but I think I'm going to give this book a 4.5. I don't have a five star feeling from this book, which I really thought I was going to have after everyone that I've seen read this book. I know I gave the love hypothesis five stars when I read it, but honestly, I don't know if it would be a five star today. Like I just, I'm not sure because I haven't read it in so long, but this one was super good. Highly recommend. It's not too like STEM heavy if you're worried about that. It's a fun time. It's a good time. And yeah, I'm going to give it 4.5 stars. So that's amazing. I still have 22 minutes. Guess I'm going to see how much further I get through this book. I am sorry if you love this book, but this is driving, this book is driving me crazy. I don't even want to read it right now. goodness that was so hard but here are all the books that we finished and then we didn't finish we read check and made by ally hazelwood first which was good but three stars it wasn't anything crazy and then we finally read love redesigned love i gave it a 4.75 and then we read if he had been with me i still i'm still thinking about them i mean i read it today but five stars highly highly recommend highly and then we read love theoretically by Allie hazelwood loved 4.5 highly 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 recommend so good so very good and then we read up to chapter basically eight i think i read two pages in this chapter eight of summer reading we don't have to talk about her but this challenge was so fun it was so long I'm surprised I made it like almost 15 hours straight, honestly, because I, I don't know, but it was a long, long video. So I'm going to keep this short. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because it helps me out and I will see you guys next time. Bye.